Are you excited by the possibility of a human, well, one, a human stepping foot on Mars, and two, possible colonization of not necessarily Mars, but other planets and all that kind of stuff for people living in space? Inevitable. 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 Would you do it? Or are you kind of, of like Earth? Of what? course. <laughs> oh, you know, how many, how many, how many people will you wait? Will you wait for? I think it was about when the 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 Declaration of Independence was signed. About two to three million people lived here. So, would you move like before? Would you be like uh, on the first boat? Would you be on the tenth boat? Would you wait until the Declaration of Independence? I don't think I'll be on the short list because I'll be old by then. They'll probably get a bunch of younger people. But you're, it's the, <laughs> it's, it's the wisdom and the, uh, the, then but again, you are the lucky one. But wisdom horizontally. You, I, I gotta tell you, you are the lucky one. So you might be on the list. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, I kind of feel like I would love to see earth from above just to watch mm -hmm. our planet. I mean, just, I mean, you know, you can watch a live feed of the uh, space station. Watching earth is magnificent. Like this blue, tiny little shield. It's so thin, our atmosphere. Like if you drive to New York, you're basically in outer space. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's just so thin. And it's just, again, such a privilege to be on this planet, such a privilege. But I think our species is in for big, good things. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that, uh, you know, we will overcome our little problems and eventually come together as a species. I feel that we we've, we're definitely on the path to that. And... You know, it's just not permeated through the whole universe yet. I mean, through the whole world yet, through the whole earth yet, but it's definitely permeating.